हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय प्लेलिस्ट ऑफ पैथोलॉजी लंग की पैथोलॉजी हम डिस्कस कर रहे हैं फ्रॉम मीडियम रॉबिन्स एंड रिस्ट्रिक्टिव लंग डिसऑर्डर्स में आज हमारी वीडियो का टॉपिक है हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी न्यूमिनाइरस सो ऑब्वियसली एज द नेम इंडिकेट्स इज गोइंग टू बी एसोसिएटेड विद इन्फ्लेमेशन बिकॉज इट इज आइटिस एंड देयर विल बी समथिंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी ओके and whenever we talk about hypersensitivity it is but natural that it is going to be immune mediated inflammatory disorder so hypersensitivity pneumonitis is an immunologically mediated inflammatory lung disease that primarily affects the alveoli so it is affecting alveoli this is why it is called pneumonitis because inflammation of pneumocytes inflammation of alveoli okay and because it is immune mediated hypersensitivity reaction it is also sometimes known as allergic alveolitis so either you call it allergic alveolitis or you call it hypersensitivity pneumonitis is both the same thing नाम में बहुत सारी चीज़ें आपको क्लूज देती हैं तो वो आपको बिल्कुल क्लियरली समझना है कि व्हाट दे आर टॉकिंग अबाउट नाम पे जरा फोकस करें और फिर उसको समझने की कोशिश करें सो देर विल बी इन्वॉल्वमेंट ऑफ द इम्यून सेल्स एंड देर विल बी इन्वॉल्वमेंट ऑफ हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी एंड देर विल बी इन्वॉल्वमेंट ऑफ एल्यूलाई एंड हैंस द नेम हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी न्यूमोनाइटिस और इसका फिर इक्वल नाम क्या है एलर्जिक एल्यूलाइटिस ओके मोस्ट ऑफ एन इट इज एन ऑक्यूपेशनल डिजीज यानी एक काम के साथ एसोसिएटेड है दैट रिजल्ट फ्रॉम heightened sensitivity to inhaled antigen and uh, examples such as those found in the mold hay so dekhiye uh, allergy what is allergy allergy is obviously because of uh, an allergen so if in your body an allergen enters your body responds in an exaggerated way to this uh, allergen and this is what we call the hypersensitivity reaction aapne asthma padha hai na so asthma mein you know ki there are dust particles or there are other allergens which can initiate the process of uh, Uh, asthma and that can um, aggravate the asthma attack so uh, usi tarah ka kuch matter yahan bhi hai there is an allergen but obviously there is a difference so unlike bronchial asthma in which bronchi are the focus of the immune mediated inflammation is disease may the damage is primarily in the alveoli so that is the major difference if somebody ask you ke what are the major differences between uh, bronchial asthma and hypersensitivity pneumonitis then now you got the answer ke in asthma what is uh, primarily involved the bronchi and in hypersensitivity pneumonitis what is the primary focus of uh, disorder that's the alveoli okay hence it manifests predominantly as a restrictive lung disorder because alveoli are involved and there is a typical decrease in the diffusion capacity in the lung compliance and total lung volume these are all the generalized features of a restrictive lung disorder the responsible occupational and household exposures are diverse हर तरह के एलर्जी रिएक्शन में इट इज़ अ वेरी डाइवर्स रेंज ऑफ एलर्जी दैट कैन कॉज कई केसेस उनको पता भी नहीं होता कि किस वजह से हो रही है वो पर्टिकुलर डिजीज बट द सिंड्रोम शेयर्स कॉमन क्लिनिकल एंड पैथोलॉजिकल फाइंडिंग्स प्रॉब्ली हैव अ वेरी सिमिलर पैथोफिजोलॉजिकल बेसिस कहने का मतलब ये है कि इट इज़ रिगार्डलेस ऑफ द एलर्जिन किसी भी एलर्जिन से हो स्पेक्ट्रम एक ही जैसा है सेवरल लाइन क्लिनिकल स्पेक्ट्रम एक जैसा है सेवरल लाइन्स ऑफ एविडेंस सजेस्ट दैट हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी इम्यूनोलॉजिकली इज इमोलॉजिकली मीडिएटेड और हम ये वर्ड जब यूज़ करते हैं इम्यूनोलॉजिकली मीडिएटेड देर हैज़ टू बी इम्यून सेल इन्वॉल्वमेंट राइट और उसके एविडेंस क्या क्या है सो इफ वी डू द ब्रंक एल्वुलर लेवाज विच मीन्स कि यहाँ से लेवाज किया जाए एल्वुलर फ्लिड को दैन वॉट वी गैर इज इंक्रीज सी डी फोर एंड सी डी एट लिम्फोसाइड सो दीज आर इम्यून मीडिएटेड स्टाफ ये एविडेंस है मोस्ट अफेक्टेड पेशेंट्स हैव स्पेसिफिक एंटीबॉडीज विच आर इम्यूनोग्लोबलिन विच आर प्रोड्यूस फ्रॉम द बी सेल प्लाज्मा सेल्स दिस इज अनदर एविडेंस के इम्यून सिस्टम इज इन्वॉल्व कॉम्प्लीमेंट एंड इम्यूनोग्लोबलिन हैव बीन डिमॉन्स्ट्रेटेड विद इन द वेसल वॉल बाई इम्यूनोफ्लोरस सो दैट शोज दैट देर इज कॉम्प्लीमेंट एक्टिवेशन एंड इम्यूनोग्लोबलिन डेपोजिशन विद इन द एलवुलर वेसल वॉल non casiating granulomas have also been formed so all these are the features and these are the evidence ke is particular disease mein inflammation and immune mediated inflammation involved hai okay histopathologically in both acute and chronic forms of hypersensitivity pneumonitis there is patchy mononuclear cellular infiltrate mononuclear matlab macrophage system um and then also the lymphocytes t and b cells because yahan bhi maine aapse baat ki ke there are b cell involvement immunoglobulin deposition and there are t cell involvement cd4 and cd8 positive cells are there as well 
okay in acute form the disease uh, variable number of neutrophils are also seen because that's the acute uh, cell yeah you can it's a hallmark of acute inflammation presence of neutrophil loose poorly formed granulomas particularly non cageating are also present okay so clinically obviously this is a restrictive lung disorder to is it represent as a restrictive lung disorder with dyspnea and um, uh, if there is an exacerbated or a chronic form then all the signs and symptoms of chronic system will also be present so for example um, severe dyspnea pulmonary hypertension even core pulmonal okay but initially what happens is that the patient in the acute reaction can have fever uh, cough and dyspnea all the general signs and symptoms and symptoms arising four to eight hours after the exposure of the allergen and in long-term cases there may be severe cough dyspnea malaise weight loss with the acute form the diagnosis is usually obvious because the temporal relation of the symptom onset and the exposure of the antigen so patient will remember something that doc saab mera is cheez se exposure hua tha isliye mujhe lagta hai ki mujhe ye problem so that's kind of relatable now failure to remove the inciting agent from the environmental um, then goes to irreversible uh, interstitial pulmonary disease and yahan mein baat kar raha tha ki there will be pulmonary hypertension there will be core pulmonal and the serious stuff that we always talk about in the chronic lung disorders okay so very important uh, disease hypersensitivity pneumonitis so there is also a table that i have to discuss ki what are the normal uh, normal to nahi kehna chahiye what are the common antigens that have been implicated with the hypersensitive pneumonitis so they can be mushroom all these can be bacteria even mycobacteria birds particularly pigeons dove in ke feathers mein ducks and some chemicals uh, paint industry mein jo automobile industry isocyanates zinc so these are routinely or you can say commonly found antigens which are known to incite hypersensitivity pneumonitis okay so this concludes our discussion on hypersensitivity pneumonitis next we'll talk about pulmonary eosinophilia